Good morning. How's everybody doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. Um, I'm the same. Feeling good. Feeling really good. I woke up this morning and I sat outside on the back porch like I always do in the morning to drink my coffee and I just kind of feel into the earth and you know my my backyard um, is surrounded by a lot of greenery and a lot of nature there's some hiking trails and stuff like that so um, when I'm in that space I'm able to really tune in and I do this every morning um, and this is how I gather some information from the earth on ascension energies and, and kind of just what we can expect for the day. So today is um, what my guides have been telling me is going to be this peak energy of the Lionsgate portal. Um, and it's going to be a very, very high energy day. Um, so I woke up this morning and kind of tapped in to see where we were. Um, and the energy was extremely frantic um, there's a buzz in the air that I can feel and so I centered myself by going through and breathing in through my heart center and this is my process that I use instead of grounding um, guy is changing a lot right now so it's not doing any of us any good to ground to Gaia at this time so what I tell everybody, especially my clients who are having this floating and dizzy sensation or this vertigo sensation and they're having a hard time um, kind of getting any relief from it, go within and breathe in and out through your heart and ask your guides to connect you to your higher self and ground in that way. Um, that is actually a more stable grounding technique than even grounding to the earth. Um, anything that you are going to do to attach your energy to something outside of you is going to be way less stable than going within. Um, and so definitely practice that today. That's going to be huge. Breathing in and out through the heart um, and feeling for the sensation. So when you start to breathe in and out through your heart, what does that feel like? Do you feel an opening? Are you feeling a clenching? Is it getting tight? Is your breath getting shallow? Where are you at? Kind of tune in in that moment. Um, and at that time, you can ask your guides for a release or a clearing if you feel like there's some resistance coming up. You can envision the white light of source coming in through your crown chakra and going out through your heart and really cleansing all of that energy. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do and whatever suits you, whatever feels good to you, that's gonna move this energy. So um, really practice staying heart-centered today. This is going to help you connect to this really high frequency energy that we're getting. The reason why this energy feels a little chaotic and like buzzing is just because it's way higher than what we're used to, um, what we are all used to vibrating at. And what you do want to do is center yourself enough so that you can connect to this energy. And you can do that through meditating today. You can do that through practicing the heart-centered breathing that I keep talking about. Um, I received a lot of emails about my video yesterday. You know, a lot of people are like, I want to feel like you. I want to feel the way you do. What are you doing? And I can honestly tell you that the only thing that has really shifted me into this place, there's three things, the eclipse, my heart-centered breathing practice, and taking control over my thoughts, taking complete control over my thoughts. If I start to go down a road that doesn't feel good or I know isn't the path of where I'm going, I will completely redirect that thought pattern immediately. Um, and. I know not everybody can be that aware in their thinking process because we do get really tied into these belief systems and um, these thoughts energetically. There's a lot of momentum around them because we've been practicing them for a long time. So if you're in that space and you can't catch it right away, then I want you to heighten your sensitivity. And the way you do that is through meditation. And don't meditate, like I said, to shut yourself down and close off those thoughts. 
meditate to connect and flow. Let the energy just come in and out of you. Don't judge it, don't think about it. Give yourself 15 minutes to just be and whatever happens in those 15 minutes happens. You can think about it later, you can ponder it later, you can figure out your aha moments within that energy later, but in that moment be present. Be present and just allow, that's it. That's your only job. Um, and that's really how I shifted. It's not, you know, we look at our emotions so many times and we think, oh, this is so hard. And it's not as hard as you think. There's a formula and it's simple. And it's called getting sense enough to feel your own frequency and getting sensitive, sensitive enough to manage your own thoughts because you can feel the way they resonate within you immediately. So um, those practices have just really been a game changer. And the energy that we're in right now is supporting this 100%. So today, tune in. The energy is going to, I told Teresa this morning, we're sitting out on the porch and I said this energy is going to change people. Today is a huge day. Um, today feels bigger than the eclipse, energetically. Um, it's going to be a big day. Spend time outside. Connect with nature. The frequencies around you that are natural, tune into them. Disconnect from frequencies around you that are unnatural, um, like this YouTube channel. Uh, just really go within. Go within. Practice that self-centeredness. I know that sounds crazy, right? Because we don't want to be self-centered. But in this case, you really want to be self-centered, okay? Today. So, um... That's really all I wanted to do. I wanted to just kind of talk about the energy this morning and give you guys some guidance based on what I was getting a lot of uh, emails and comments on my video from yesterday. Um, we are all gonna reach this energy and we, even the people who have no idea that they're going in this direction, all of humanity is shifting in this way. But if you wanna be a part of it, if you want to be a part of your own ascension, if this is an experience your soul is craving to have, then these are the things that have worked for me and will work for you if you choose to try them. Um, I love you guys. I'm so proud of how far we've come. Uh, there's a lot of things that are changing right now. Us, our, our world, Everything is changing right now. So stay centered and stay in love. Stay in love. And if the only thing you can do is love yourself, love yourself. If the only thing you can do is love your pet, love your pet, right? Just stay in love. Stay in love with whatever you can find to be in love with. T today especially. Um, because your vibration and frequency that you are holding is going to be amplified. Um... Yeah, it's definitely going to be amplified. So I'm really excited. I'm prepared. Uh, my crystals are charged. I am ready for today. And um, I think it's going to be a really beautiful unfolding over the next few days too. Um, there's going to be a lot of assimilation that's going to be happening as you adjust and change to these new height and frequencies and these shifts that we're being given today. Uh, so be easy on yourself and drink more water. You know, <laughs> we all know we should be drinking a lot of water and I'm here to tell you because my guys have been yelling at me and I drink a ton. I probably drink mm, a gallon a day and they're like, drink more water, drink more water. You're shifting, you're changing. The energy in your body needs to be fluid and moving. Drink more water. So I want to get that message out to everybody too. You think you're drinking a lot of water. We need more water. So. I love you guys. I'm feeling so playful today. I'm gonna go play and enjoy the rest of my day. I have a lot of sessions booked up for this weekend and this weekend's my birthday. My birthday's on Sunday. So I can't say that I'm going to be here um, talking to you guys about energy because I'm going to be basking in the experience of this very human life that I also enjoy. Um, so I will see you next week. And we will talk and catch up about how the energy has impacted everybody. Um, and I can fill you in on how my birthday weekend went. So you guys take care. And I love you. And really, 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 really enjoy these frequencies today. Because this is what it's all about, y'all. Okay? I love you. Take care. Bye.